So today I'm going to show you how to make healthy chips. But in America that means crisps. So we'll use the word potato veggies or fries. So what you will need for this. Chopping board. Knife. Potatoes. More potatoes. And my favourite, olive oil. And then the option, oh, we also need a oven proof dish, mine's glass. And then optional seasonings. I like to use salt, just a little bit. Of course, that will be followed by pepper, paprika. Red, it looks good. Minced garlic. Now this will not be in the kitchen of the future for long. But while it's here, I'm going to use it. It's Peri Peri Chip Sprinkle from Nando's. Not the best thing to use because if you look at the ingredients on the back, it just contains salt and sugar and acid and all that sort of stuff. But I'm not cooking for myself today, um, so I'll use it. Chips. Sprinkle. So these are your basic ingredients. So after washing the potatoes and your hands, of course, because we are in the kitchen of the future, and in the future we're healthy, cut your potato into wedges. Now I normally start off by cutting them into fours, and then I try cutting them again, if necessary, into eights. So that in the end it'll look something like this, a bit like an apple. Once you're done, stick them all into your oven proof dish. Once you're done with all the potatoes, you'll have something that looks like that. Now if you think that sounded like art attack, you're right, we're gonna get even more art attack now with this paintbrush. Take the olive oil, pour the olive oil lightly over your chips or crisps. No, not crisps, potato veggies. Just lightly over, I like my olive oil, it's quite healthy. I mentioned in a different video from the Kitchen of the Future that olive oil contains a hundred percent, one tablespoon of it contains a hundred percent of the good fats that our body needs to survive. So it's good to get at least a tablespoon. Obviously you're not gonna eat all of them. Well, maybe you are. It's good to get at least a tablespoon of it on. And then just paint with your little brush, whatever you have, paint the chips with the olive oil. Yeah, I like the painting. But once you're done, it'll look nice and glossy. Okay, we're done painting our lovely potatoes with olive oil. Now for the fun part, the optional part. The seasonings. You may be a fan of salt. You may be a fan of pepper. Basically, all you want to do is put your seasoning on. So I like pepper. So I'm going to put a plenty of. I'm going to use a big side. Here we go. Plenty of pepper. Make my guests sneeze. You can also brush it in if you like. You like the brushing part. I'm just going to put a little bit of salt on it because a lot of food that we eat contains salt anyway. We, won't, we don't need to go to town with the salt. The prapika, it's not even open yet. It's going to be used to give it that redness. But also, all these spices have 
health benefits too. Paint it nicely. There we go. The last one I'm going to add is the minced garlic. Sprinkle that on. You can also use garlic powder or anything else you like. Paint it nice. Now I told you I was going to use, um, I was going to cheat a bit with this, with these Nando's ones, so I'm just going to add a bit of that on, just for the extra flavouring. Right, so we have some nice spicy seasoned potato veggies, all good to go in the oven. Okay, now here is the key to the cooking. The oven, you want it very low. You want it about 170, 160, maybe even 150 to start with. Now this is not a fan, fan of them, but you might want it even lower for a fan of them. So we just put the chips in there, like so. So now we're at the halfway point. You can see the chips are looking good. Now if we had the oven on a little bit higher, it would have actually burnt on the outside and not cooked on the inside. That's why we've got our oven on quite low, around 150 to 170. So what I'm going to do now is just mix them up a little bit. See it's looking really nice. I can taste them already. And I'm going to just simply turn up my oven now. Now that we're at the halfway point, it's been about 20-25 minutes. I'm going to turn it up to just below 200 and shove them back in. And they should be done in another 20 25 odd minutes. I'm currently working on a how to make a healthy stir fry video which I'm going to get back to. And here they are. You can see sizzling away. Slightly more crisp now around the edges and slightly burnt. That's because we turned it off. And that is really nice. Looking amazing. Nice, sizzling, healthy potato veggies. Scrumptious. Mm -hmm.